Separating the truth from the lies. Coming at you from underneath the heavily chemtrailed, chem-clouded Noonan, Georgia sky. You're about to receive your Friday dose of the shock treatment. And what a shock this was today. What a surprise. What a blessing. God has answered the prayers, folks. I don't know how many of you prayed, actually prayed, but I know Karen uh, Hubbard, she, she chimed in on my post on Facebook. I said, if anybody pray for me, comment here. I'd like to know because I'd like to give you a shout out. So, uh, Haley Freeland, I know you uh, clicked like to the post. I'm not sure if you prayed for me because I didn't get a comment. I wonder if that meant you prayed. Uh, if so, thank you. Um, if so. Karen said she did. My, I know my mother did. I did. And wherever two or more gathered, Jesus is there in the midst. Stand in agreement. And we did. Two or more standing in agreement. And God delivered. He took the switch that would that was pointing left, and he turned it right to the correct side to healing. It was pointing to what could have been bad news. What could have been, I know it's getting screwy, what could have been surgery, probably a good size surgery for the mouth anyway. And he said, and I prayed last night, I, and I, I did a video on this, and I said, God, if I do have to get this... Uh, Surgery, no pain, no pain, zero pain. God said, I'll do you one better. You're not getting surgery. And it's uh, it's unbelievable. I was astounded. And you didn't even have to pay for any uh, visitation or nothing. I thought you'd at least have to pay for that. So, you know, I, w- I woke Ma up today. I didn't know she was in the middle of a dream. I'm going to let her tell you live. Anybody who's friends with me, it's exclusive live on my Facebook. But let just know, I'll give you in general terms that her dream literally came true. And she told me about it. She told me the steps in a dream of what was going on. And uh, it actually, actually step by step occurred, you know, a few hours later in real life. You tell me there is no God. You tell me that, huh? That's not a coincidence. God gave her, the. God told her that everything was going to be okay. God showed her that. She relayed that to me. Of course, you know, I was in the midst of the storm, so I was feeling a little bit, you know, uh, on edge. But, you know, uh, when, when the doctor said, this is nothing, it's just saliva glands, those bumps, that's normal. And, and we went over, and later we were at the restaurant, and we were talking, Ma and I. I said, remember that dream you told me you had? I said, that happened step by step. Unbelievable, it's a miracle. It is an absolute miracle. It is an answer from the throne of heaven. Divine intervention. God said, no, no, no. I'm not, you're not going to be sick. I know you want to be well. You're standing on my word. You're trying as hard as you can. I know you're upset, because, but this is not what it seems. And, you know, Ma sent me um, a sermon from John Hagee about Don't Worry, which is an excellent, excellent sermon. You need to check that out. And I did play that. I did watch it from time to time when I started worrying. This time I didn't. You know what? And in that sermon he says, talked about, I don't know, he talked about someone who worried, constantly worried about something that never happened. Something like that. And look at this. He said saliva glands. He could have easily said, you know what? Saliva glands, but we're still going to do surgery just to make sure. He didn't. He was confident. It was as if God, I know. I don't know why this does that. It's stupid on this. It's getting stupid. But it's all, it's like God actually spoke through him and spoke in Ma's dream and answered all, all the prayers. And I'm very thankful. I, I am so thankful. You have no clue how thankful I am because so many people are getting sick, so many people are dying. And I guess when you see loved ones near and dear to you, people that you go to church with, friends of the family that have been friends for 40 years or so, Dying at early ages, dying at 62, dying my uncle at 65, Noah at 62, Sharon uh, Kling, you know, in her 60s, and it's all from the C word that rhymes with answer. Uh, you know, it kind of hits home. And then, you know, uh, I'll be honest with you, I discovered since I've been doing yoga, I've been, uh, I guess, getting more in tune with my body and, you know, checking out what's this lump, what's that, what's this, what's that, you know? And so. I just was feeling around my tongue, and I felt some bumps one day. And they could have been there for the longest time, for all I know. You know? So, uh, it's kind of, uh, uh, kind of concerned, as anybody would be. 
But it's just saliva glands. God said saliva glands. It's nothing else, nothing to worry about. Stand on God's word. And i got to learn this myself. You know, it's kind of like, what was it? Uh, the apostles were in a boat with Jesus and the, and the storm came. Remember that? If I remember this correctly. And they, they woke, and Jesus was asleep, and they, they were getting panicking. And then Jesus woke up, and oh, ye of little faith. And he calmed the winds. You know, but we have that power he's given us within us. Because greater is he who's in us than he who's in the world, right? And we have a scripture to stand on. And, we, and I have to remind myself, too, to literally stand on his scripture. And, uh, and, and not worry. And for someone that's used to worrying... It's doing it again. It's doing it again. It's unbelievable. Someone who's used to worrying, um, you know, and I'm trying to get better at this, but, you know, there are people that are inclined to worry, and there are those that are clear-headed. I'm not a clear-headed person. I'm very analytical. I study things. I, I, I approach things at different angles in my mind. This could be that, that, to the point that I overthink. You know what I mean? So i got to learn not to. i got to learn to um, lean more on God. Lean more on His Word. You know, and stand on it. And I did a video last night standing on his word, but then when the hour approaches for you to go in and get surgery, you know, <laughs> your nerves get rattled. And the devil's always there saying, you're next. You're next. Kind of like in a horror movie, you know? Invisible killer, silent kill. You're next. God said, you ain't next. You are not next. And I have to constantly remind myself, why would he help me drop 70 plus pounds, whip myself in shape, not eat the things I used to love to eat, which are not good for you, Eat the stuff that he's given us and, and take the, um, you know, the herbs like turmeric and ginger root and, and CBD oil and the coconut oil, unrefined, uh, organic, and, and eat intermittent fasting and eat, um, you know, clean food. Why would he have me do all this and get in the best shape of my life only for me to get stricken with something? It, it, that part wouldn't make sense to me either. Here's another thing. On the le right side of my mouth was a slight, was a little bump on the inside and the left side and I happened to mention that to Ma in the waiting room and she says that sounds like glands <laughs> Shaw was enough that's what it was or is saliva glands so go figure that one out huh but I'm very thankful thankful that God just shown me how real he is he's shown me I don't care if he doesn't answer he doesn't have to answer any of my other uh as I was saying, uh, I, don't, you know, I don't care if he doesn't answer any other prayer. Although I've got quite a few out there. As long as uh, i got my health, I'm good. Because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Period. End of story. Period. So I want to thank everyone for the prayers. Ma especially in particular. But thanks Karen and anyone else who prayed. I don't know. Maybe they left a comment. I don't know. Uh, ultimately, thank God. For answering uh, the prayers, my prayers, yours, Ma's, and giving her that vision that actually <laughs> occurred step by step just a few hours ago in real life. That right there proves to me that God is real all the more. And God is definitely alive. If you don't have your soul right, if you don't have your soul right with Jesus Christ, make him your Lord and Savior. I suggest you do so now. Call upon Him as your Lord and Savior. Ask Him to forgive your sins. Tell, tell Jesus you believe He was born of the Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Conception, and you call, want Him in your, into your life, into your heart. And you make, the, make your body the temple of the Holy Spirit. Because our body is a temple. He, we are created in His image. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. He fastened us in, our, in, our, in the womb. All right, that alone should tell you that the baby that has been fastened by God in the womb is not something to plan parenthood, if you catch my drift, to abort. It's a person. God knew you before you were ever conceived. Regardless if you're his or not, he knew you were going to be born because he knows everything. So get your soul right with Jesus, because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. No one is. And you're not guaranteed your next breath. <laughs> and uh, your last breath on terra firma right here on earth is, is, is your first one in eternity. Whether in hell or in heaven. Alright? Just think about it. We are all eternal beings. 
It's just that where are you going to spend the rest of your eternity? Where is your next area code going to be? Is it going to be down below? Are you going to stand before, stand in judgment and then the, the lever's pulled and the floor comes out from under you and you go down, down, down you go into the pits of hell? The pit of hell? Or will you stay in eternity, have eternal life with God, with Jesus, with all the ones that has passed away and gone on who were saved and went to be with the Lord forever and ever. No pain, no sorrow. And Jesus says he went to, to build a mansion. Did he not prepare a mansion for us who are saved, who are his, who are written in the book of life? Think about that. Eternal life in heaven where there's no sorrow. There's no pain. There's no ever saying goodbye. Ever. Ever. Eternal joy. Unspeakable. With God, the one who just answered my prayers, who answered your prayers, who answered Ma's prayers, and gave her the vision. Gave her the vision. Can you can you believe that? Let that sink in. We're going to discuss that tonight live on Facebook. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping me healed. In Jesus' holy name. Until next time, you received the shock treatment. So did I.